There it is. I grew up there. In the distance. Yeah, yeah, this game looks fucking crazy, man. It looks good. Music left. So much death on the roads. Put my sword away. I can loot this guy's apple and shit. Nah. I actually can't run anymore. I wonder why. Sweet Jesus. It's the charcoal burner. No! Was that him? Oh my god, dude. The charcoal guy. There's his charcoal. No, dude. Is that guy looting? Why would anyone do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? Damn, yeah, man. Hey, yeah, yeah, don't do this, man. Piece of shit. Fucking trash. Plate? Oh, yeah, hold on. That was an upgrade, I think. Uh, where am I? Stats, by the way. Main level, by the way. What is this? Info. Yo, last there's not without food. Sure. Actually, wait, no. <laughs> Scout one sounded good. Nice upgrades. God damn, dude. I wonder if it's worth increasing the FOV. Wait, it's blocked. But I think the parents died. Huh. Is there another way in? Oh yeah, wait, what's this by the way? Scallops. Oh yeah, that's the fast travel thing. It is to the right. Everyone's dead, dude. Yeah, this is like The Witcher, but real. The Witcher, nonfiction.
Yeah, man, even the horsies. Oh, yeah, someone's there. Might be another bandit. I'm gonna just keep my sword out. These guys just decide to attack. Yeah, don't do this. Answer to my prayer. Just when I wanted to vent my rage. Fucker. I'm in no mood for talk. You're dead. Bastard. Ow! There you go. It had to be done. It had to be done. He was a bandit. Oh my god, the way in. Oh no. Hey, you didn't run like me. The guy with the sword in his hand. Shard? That's his weapon? Won't mind if I use it. Shard. I don't think this, this there's no way this weapon's better than what I have. Wait, main hand. What? Sir. Yeah, this one's better. This one's way better. No, you can see on the bottom right. The sword my dad made is way better. To buy a sign with the books to you. In the end, you were here. You didn't run away. You didn't abandon me like me. Oh, this is where it's at. No, man. Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Shit, training oh, art. I'm the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find this shovel and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Damn.
The dad was an insane swordsman and a wicked talented blacksmith. Find a spade. I heard a dog. There's a dog. Hey! Uh oh. Of course, this guy's a shovel. Away, you must. Get away, you beast! What's going on? Mishak. What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me! Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's... Um, Mutt? And isn't that Body the Butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? He's protecting him. Even though he's dead. Give me your fucking shovel, bruh. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? Fuck you, man. Dressed like a fucking jester. Came to bury my parents. I came to lay you down. Bill? And you're in my way. Fuck you. What? Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, really? Ah! Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, you Ow. fucking twisted my arm, you fucking piece of shit. Ah. Dumb. Ah. Yeah. Ah. 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 Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. Ow. Ow. Ah, fucking piece of shit. Alright, I'm taking my That's sword right. out. Turn tail and run, you bastard. You piece of shit. Yeah, alright. No. Your good master won't be to listen. Oh no. I feel bad, I'm not gonna loot. I'll take the spade though. Ah, man, the dog, bro. Oh, no. We have a bigger mission. Dr dig a grave under the linden tree and bury your parents. Shit. I don't think we can take the dog with us. Yeah, I wonder if I... Yeah, what about Bianca? Is she just... Can I find her? Bro, I need pants.
done it all. some help oh come on man Zane. yes can't you see the sword who are you what do you want Spishek? who do you think we are franciscan brothers <laughs> we're to rob you of everything you've got especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway banish the thought it is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's gonna be needing it. Oh shit. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Tell him, Rod! I cut the bastard down! Yeah, really? As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! Yeah. We're 1v1ing? This guy's got a huge. What the fuck? Oh my god! Ow! You're dead. Hold on, let me go to my inventory, you fucking piece of shit. How did I just get one tapped? How the hell do I heal? How does this combat even work? Are you supposed to like heal like it's a fucking RPG? Okay. Oh wait. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. Yo, you guys are fucked up, man. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! Oh my god, she's alive. <laughs> the games are over. Oh shit, they came from Tannenberg. And I passed out again. Then the guy's gonna show... <laughs> You guys are gonna be like, lad, I told you not to leave. Oh shit. Now the game actually starts. Yeah, that was Tutorial Island. Yeah, they should have done like a 4K uh, video update or some shit for the game. It's very cutscene heavy. This game's definitely fucking sick though. Cool intro. The main character's definitely kind of a weakling, so I'm curious like... It's a cool story, I wonder if it's kind of about him climbing the ranks. I don't know, no spoilers. It introduced, like, what he's trying to get to is the villain, so.
Plot twist, Teresa killed Bianca because she actually liked Henry. She's actually fucking crazy. It's like misery. Fucking Halloween emote, and now he's wearing a Santa costume? Jesus. Is that a chef? They're gonna fucking eat me. Whoa. That was a cool intro. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh my god. Uh oh. PTSD. Oh god. You need some help? Damn, I just read, yeah, this kid's been through it. Army, bandits, parents dead. Arrow to the leg. Clubbed in the head. This game looks insane. If they make a second one, oh my god. Wake up, Henry. It's past all right. Henry, can you hear me? Get up, Henry. Wake up. Get up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Uh, Teresa? She finally has me to my own. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. Announcement at the Game Awards? I doubt it. A few delirious awake. days later. Good morning. She hasn't moved. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. How did you find me? How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Okay, that was lucky timing. What were you doing? What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead. All of them. Everyone I ever loved. 
They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Well, shit. They were looking for me? Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. I'm tired. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. And even later. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Ugh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. What? He wants payment? And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rete Mill. My uncle's Miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying around long enough. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Rate well enough fucking healthcare. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in Lower Castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Lipa. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sickbed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. True. I have to get... I owe you my life. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Oh my god, fuck my Oh shit, yo, some fresh bread rolls? Sheesh. Nothing like some fresh bread bed rolls. Mm. Some chili or whatever the fuck. Oh my god, why is all this in here? Wait, is this all my shit? Oh shit, yo, this is all my shit. Did it auto equip? No. Wait, shard? Main hand. Well, not stolen anymore. All right. Hold on. Okay, so main quest. I'm only doing main quest in this game. Go to per Perkstein to uh, see Sir Radzig for the sword. Get father's sword back. Find Mark Vart von Olitz and avenge your parents. Course. What's the difference between a green and a red quest? Bro, I don't. I, this game is so long, chat. I'm not looking to camp here for five years, okay? If the game gets. Right now, I'm interested. If the game gets fucking insane, I'll do side shit, alright? Until then, fuck yourself. Go play it yourself. Yeah, what's the difference between green and red shit? Oh my god, the dog, dude. Yo, he's living his life now. He's happy. Oh yeah, this is the this is the uncle. Miller. I'm Henry. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the Miller here. You've Peshek. already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. 
Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Okay. What would you need from me? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. What? And not get caught while you're doing it. That what? sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Okay, bro, tell me more. I'm prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? It's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He oh. was Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body. Only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? Okay, buddy. I, guess I think I've already heard more than I need to know. Okay. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. What's your mouth, boy? <laughs> wow. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. May the Lord watch over you. Okay. Yeah, hey, uh, what up, doggy? Get the dead man's ring. Get a spade. So, maybe I should do... Yo, I missed it. What happened to the sword? I had the sword. I... Oh, wait, that guy took it. No, but then, wouldn't it be back at Scallops? <laughs> oh, I thought the bandits... Hmm, I guess they completely took it. It looked like they kind of just like... Yeah, they wouldn't have taken the sword. Yeah, they ran off. I guess I have to kind of do this, because it says go to person to see Sir Radzig, or I could just go... To... I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to go see Radzig. Yeah. Or get Father's sword back. <laughs> Let me see. Does the donated quests pop up here? Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Holy shit. She moved us all the way down here? Oh, it shows the quest givers and where I gotta go. Oh, the green is over arc arc. Oh, okay, okay. Should we maybe do this? Yeah, maybe we go and do it. You uncheck the quest. Hold on, if I hit awakening, let me see here. Oh, wait. Yeah, he's actually not far. What is this? New DLC quest. Yeah, let's go do that. Okay. Oh, he's up there. Oh, we don't have a horse. I have shard. It's a piece of shit, but it will do the trick. What's the best way to get to shard? Well, the shovel implies me doing the side quest, no? Alright, I gotta go down the road here. Mm 
you stink, get a bath. There's probably, um, I don't see a debuff saying I smell like shit. Wait, is this the bathhouse? This looks like it could be a bathhouse. I don't know if I have enough coin for that. Kind of looks like it's here. Oh, I put lockpick back? Hey, yeah, why are you all staring here? Oh yeah, the baths. What the fuck is this? Are they in line? Hey, yeah, what are we waiting for here? Do you guys work here? Good God! What happened to your clothes? If you were robbed, you should report it. Whoa! Take care. Oh, maybe she. Can I eat this? Yellow. And... Good afternoon. Good afternoon. No? Goodbye. You're in a private area. Oh, shit. They all just say... Goodbye. Gotta talk to the head maid. Yo, who's the head maid? Where the fuck is she? Good afternoon. Of course, the last person I- I'm interested in your, uh, services. So, what are you interested in? To heal my wounds, to pay for a wench, and everything that goes with that. Get a haircut, shave... Get myself fixed up a bit. Have a bath and get my clothes washed. As you wish. Do you have the coin? Ten fucking G's? Haggle. I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? All right, look. Uh, you drive a hard bargain, okay? 9.5. What do you say to this? That's not enough. What? Are you... Fine. You won't regret spending the money. I guarantee it. Take care. Rolled. Shit! I smell like a bar of soup! Come on, man. Look at the clothes now. Oh, shit, man. I need to buy some fucking pants. All right, so we got to talk to this guy for uh, Radzig. Am I faster if I take my armor off? I need a new horse as well. Oh, who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry. Son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of the Voyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? Whoa. Um, I am Sir Radzig's blacksmith. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. Now bugger off. Dude, I have lost so much rep. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. What? Go ahead. It'll How does the less number always success? The heart always fails. Because theirs is lower. Yeah, I guess by a significant amount, his was lower. It's all question marks, so... Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Same. I'm gonna see, sir. I was attacked by bandits. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and bandits did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. 
Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you will be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? I'm gonna see Sir Radzig. I'm gonna speak with Sir Radzig. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the Knights Hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um... He asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzig. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Can he see the sword on my fucking left, buddy? Alright, what if that was the fucking sword, buddy? Why don't she know sword? Why don't she know sword? Wait, wrong way? This way. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't ah. you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Perkstein is yours for as long as you need it. Perkstein. Good enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Perkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't True. lie, sir. I don't understand it. Same. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I Wenceslas. can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. That's what are it? you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man, and your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. There's something about Radzig. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. The miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. 
She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so <laughs> concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad. I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. Aye. Woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, <laughs> take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion! Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Mm. Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. Oh, <laughs> well, shit. Training will. arc. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't it disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. I won't, my lord. Oh, shit, dude. Not bad, not bad. The Rotate Tournament takes place once a week. You can unroll by uh, talking to the Herald in the courtyard of the Upper Castle. All right. Train hard. Go to training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. All right. We have a decent amount of things going on here. Train hard. Go to training. That's what we're going to do right now. All right. Let's go train. Yeah. Training part two. This guy's been here begging. God be with you. Oh, he stood up. How's life? How does life in Ratai suit you? Them Ratai folk would rather drive us out of here. They won't give us no work, and they won't let us beg. So what are we supposed to do? Fucking war. Ah, shit. God be with you. 
God be- wait, he's back? Oh god, he's back to begging. Sej. Alright, let's go get this training, man. Yo, this is a nice village, dude. It's nice here. It's not bad. All right, let's move. Yeah, I don't know if, uh... So wait, Sig they said King Charles died. Who was the half-brother? I forgot. Sigismund or Welsh shits? Whatever the fuck his name is. Welsh- Welsh shoe. Who was the half-brother? Wench- Wenceslav is the half-brother. Right? No. The evil bald guy works for Sigismund. He's like a captain. Wait, okay, so when Wenselov Wenselov is Charles's son who wasn't ruling correctly. Was Sigismund the half brother? Sigismund's the half brother that it uh is trying to now take control and become the actual king. Do I have it right? And that was Sigismund's men attacking that village. Even though everybody right now is loyal to the rightful king who is uh, Wench, just whatever the fuck. Wench, why? That's such a difficult name. I just can't. Wenceslas. Wenceslas. It's like Worcestershire, Worcestershire not here. sauce. I should stop by during the day. Wen Wenceslas. We're just gonna call him Wench. Wench and Sigismund. Wait, what the fuck did he just say? Did he say I should warm up? You're trying to use your that man's better abilities than you have now, so it's effective. This is greatly lowered. You can find exactly what the item demands in your inventory under item info. I'm using an item. <sighs> Minimum agility three. Oh, I'm a fucking noob, bro. I can't. Did I even level up at all? Uh, did I level up at all, bro? Main level? No, no. Q for info? Nothing. I have two agility. I'm almost at three agility. So I can't fully use that. Go to training again and talk to Captain Bernard. Oh, uh, maybe I'm supposed to, like, make time go? What time is it right now? YOLO. I'm gonna just camp here. The pluses are perks. Oh, are they? No, they're not. No, that's not how it works, chat. You're fucking wrong. I ain't blind, bitch. When it shows a one here, then you can come down and put this shit down. But you have to meet the minimum level. It all comes down to if there's an integer here, which there isn't. Yeah, just not now. I can't do it now. Damn, I gotta fucking sleep. I guess I just did it too much. Shit. Alright, fucking eight. I'll go seven. That's not resting you, it's fine. I'm gonna be wired. Quest started, rotate tourney. What? Dude, where is the- There will be a tournament and rotate tomorrow you can enroll. I'm not ready. I'm surprised this game chugs my computer. I drop down to like 80 FPS sometimes. Bro, where is this fucking guy? Uh, 
Boogang. Is there a bed nearby? You guys mentioned a bed. Lies. This isn't the dude, right? I don't think this is the dude. Yeah, that's just a guy. That's just a fucking random dude. Oh my god, you fuck. I'll be with you. You take a long time on purpose. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik sent. That'll be me. I'm not a boy. I'm not a boy. That's for me to decide. Right now, a boy is exactly what you've seen. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Okay. I know a few things. Let's do something a bit more advanced. My father was a blacksmith, so I've learned a thing or two. Fine. We'll try something more advanced then. Farewell. Oh, shit. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Okay. Good strike. Ow. Okay, we might. God damn. Fucking ow. Okay, we're getting I'm getting fucking owned. Why did I skip basic? That's enough. Uh, my work cut out, it seems. That's life. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. 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 Fuck you. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. What? When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Ow. 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 All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stand. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Hit me. Not bad. So it doesn't matter where I do it? Not bad. Mm. Well done. Oh, okay. So just press Q on hit. You don't hold Q, you press Q. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. <sighs> right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Okay. Not bad. As soon as he starts attacking, Ow. so you can do it pretty nice. early. Well done. Nice. Nice. Ow. Very good. Ow. Good. Now let's try it at full speed. 
Why you probably you... won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Uh. I got Ow. it, you piece of shit. Ow. Yeah, I can kick your ass now, buddy. I fucking know. What's up? Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Wait a while, Henry. Oh, I thought I was doing it wrong. Shit! Greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith. Oh, yeah, I'll boy. learn some archery. Try not to hurt yourself. No? Maybe this guy can teach me. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. All right, I'm gonna attack. How'd you do that? How'd you do that? How'd you do that? All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. If the same will happen if you move too late. What do I do? Slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Very good. How do you fucking weave? How do I move? Did I do it? Nice. Ow. No. I'm just fucking backing up. Ow. No, not like that. Get the fuck away from me. Oh, I, okay, not you fun. was... Oh. Try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. That's actually interesting. It works just not like bad. the perfect dodge. Ow. Nice. Good. Uh, ah, bro, why do you always hit me with the another? Last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Faint. Good. Oh, I see. Good. Wrong, damn it! No, again! Wrong, again! Wrong! Not like that! Wrong! No, not like that! Well done! Nice! No, that's not it! No, again! No, that's not it! Well done. Uh, I was doing it too early. I was doing it way too early. Well now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe it will make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Okay, thanks, man. Don't leave yet. So Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Oh. Come with me. Archery, huh? Why not? Maybe I'm better with the uh, bow and arrow. You have to visit that place often to learn new moves. Mm. Where even is the archery range? Gotta follow his ass. He walks everywhere. Mm 
Okay. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. Do I need to sleep? Uh-oh. I'm just gonna save my... Oh, I can't. I gotta follow your ass all the fucking way? Buddy, hustle. I know that armor is heavy. Oh, shit. Bro? I am tired. We gotta get this done. Yeah, I gotta sleep. Be merciful, good neighbors. I live like you did till Scalitz was burned to ashes. Yeah, this is where the archery range is. Oh shit, look at this. Report a police from combat, you can chase him down, grab and turn him around, giving you a chance to finish. Oh. Alright, we're gonna do this while sleeping. Or half asleep. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing. Put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks, and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. All right, wait, hold You've on. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But yeah. enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Hey, draw yo. the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. Okay. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. Oh, I hit it. You were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one. And then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Dude, I'm a natural. Don't the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Please tell me what's about to see. Yeah, I'm a fucking... I'm a master. That's it, then. I don't like to say it, but it wasn't that bad. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? What Calm did down, you say? boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now nah, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me <laughs> and work it off. Let's get to it. Hey, yo, are you serious? I'm half asleep. <sighs> okay. Fuck! I missed. Okay, winnable. Still winnable. Come on! This is it. Yes! Oh, and you bitch. Get fucked. Half well, asleep. I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. Oh, what yeah, are you bruh. running about, boy? 
I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? Are you, you like? kidding? Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? Are you if kidding? We must. Are you kidding? Excellent. Then let's go. Really? I feel quite hungry. I feel quite hungry, eh? Dude, I'm still sleeping. Natural, buddy. Hit me. Hit me. I haven't even started yet. Hit me. Ugh. Ow. Shit. <laughs> Damn. Don't make me whip out my bow, you bitch. Oh, shit. Yeah, I fucked him up. You got the better of me this time, blacksmith. You must be having an off day. Dude, I right, owned sir? you. Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Damn, Capone's hunting bow? God damn, I gotta eat and sleep, dude. Holy <sighs> shit. Yo, upgrades? Shit. <sighs> Jesus. I could really do with some sleep. Not now. Relax. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. I hope he has. I hope he has. Watch it, boy. A few of my men have won fights against him before and never had a problem. But you could be the first. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Oh, God damn it, my stomach hurts. Okay, yeah, I gotta fucking eat. I gotta take a shit. I'm overloaded. Do I have 36 apples? Yo, good thing I stole this shit in the beginning of the game. <clears throat> Alright, food quenched. Also, yeah, I need pants too. So far, so good. Own that guy. Got a sick bow. You got some? Oh, you have to equip the uh, arrows that I do not have. I gotta find arrows to equip. <clears throat> Okay, I wonder where I go to sleep. There must be an inn somewhere. I could have swore there was a bed symbol. Also, maybe I leveled up? Oh yeah, I did level up. Drinking? So random. Maybe so you can drink more, but wine is twice as strong. Fuck drinking. Horsemanship? Your horse can carry more, but is slower. Your horse is faster, but carries less weight. If your horse is wounded, it will run faster. Minimum level four. Main level four. Let's do racehorse. 
Wait, why can't I do race? Oh, wait, no, I'm looking at this wrong, lol. I don't have shit. I have something in sword, though. Sword skills make you more proficient with swords, increasing the power of your attacks. Weapon, short sword, hunting sword, saber. Stab slash slash for a blunt strike or wrath strike. With a rapid Zorno from the ox dance, parry the opponent strike to the side from your left shoulder and thrust the point straight to his chest. I, I wonder how difficult these are to execute. I need to actually like try it. You can get a mace as well. Main level, you'll last 30% longer without food. Your stamina will regenerate 20 faster at night. You grip an arm for so comfort of bed is inverted. It's the time you can do without slept. Your energy level falls one quarter more slowly. Insomniac's probably not bad. I don't see it as a bad thing. Carrying dead or unconscious bodies gives you a 4% higher chance of overpowering your opponent in a clinch. Oh, nice. Mule. Less encumbrance. Alright, good shit. Alright, let's keep moving here. There's a blacksmith. In this game, can't you use this? Oh yeah, I forgot. There's like a whole fucking animation for this. Oh, that's sick. Oh fuck, I'm gonna like cut my hand off. Angle, position, pressure? Can you actually see it fixing? Oh my god, this fucking guy, dude. I can't tell. Smoke good, spark good, bad. No, spark good, smoke bad. Why does he keep fucking changing it? I, I, I can't tell. It's done. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Now it's a blunt sword. It was like changing the angle by itself. Alright, I need to find a bed. Hey, dude! Hanoosh! Where's the fucking inn in your shit, dude? I'm gonna pass out. There's no bed indicator. <sighs> Is there a bed on the map? There must be. I think probably here at the tavern. The miller? No, I bet the tavern has it. Fast travel to miller, sleep there, and come back. True, because I can fast travel there. Rate mill. How do you even fast travel in this game? I swear I did it before. Oh, I thought there was like a, a loading screen type thing. I'm gonna fucking pass out. Move. I'm gonna pass out. Hey, Move. Lad. Don't lad me. I'm sleeping. Don't don't talk to me till tomorrow. Holy shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna just sleep all oh my god, this sucks. Damn it, I'm sleeping at noon. Come on, man.
Well, that works. This game definitely takes a little bit to get used to. It's kind of different control scheme and shit. Alright, I can now go to where I need to go. Um, so I need to... The main quest is... Report to the Bailiff. The Bailiff. Hey, yo, the fast travel system's nice. It would be kind of amazing if, uh, a Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 gets announced. I wonder if it was confirmed. I, I know you guys said the company was, uh, Embracer Group owns them, but... I think they shaved, shaved off most of their companies. Bailiff's not here. They said they were making it? Oh. Holy shit, I completely went the wrong way. Alright, Bailiff in here. Bailiff? Looking for the Bailiff. Bailiff ain't here. Leave doors open. Okay. You the bailiff? Getting comfy and shit? God be with you. What up, man? There's something going on here. Who can teach me to read, Sage? I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. Ujits! Master Bailiff? Is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. Join the bailiff's service? I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We have a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. Huh, you can rely on me. Actually, fuck that. Then you should look after us better. You know what they say, Bailiff? Whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. Watch your step, Henry. Sir Hanush is hosting you folk, a truly Christian act. But no newcomer can come here and do as he pleases. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, Bailiff. my bad. Sorry. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? He challenged me to combat. I have. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. Nightingale. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Oh, shit, okay. Nice. May the Lord watch over you. Main quest. I could do with a bite to eat. Alright, let's see. Let's go pick up the armor. I'm down with that. Hold on, did I mark it? Pick up your kit and the lore. Why wouldn't I do that? This kit is, like, old and shit. I want new armor. It's down here, my kit. This guy, Taylor, maybe. Good health to you. About repairs, let's talk trade. I don't know, is it this Good guy? Nightingale armor. Who's the armor? Trader, shop guard. And then where is this saying? A is... Oh, wait. It's all the way down there. Holy shit. It said down below. 
Just, that's not fucking down below. That's across the goddamn. That's across Raté. Yeah, this city chugs, bro. I'm at I'm at 60 FPS. I don't know how the fuck people played this game. My computer can't handle this. Ultra has a disclaimer. It's the CPU. Alright. Oh yeah, what up, dude? I was told to pick up a kit here. Name? Name. Henry. And in fealty too? Sir Radzik Kobola? Mm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? Yo. I need equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Are you kidding me, man? That's all I got? Come on, man. I already have a common one of these. Already have light padded armor. At least these are new at like a hundred. Van braces, they're better. Armor. Warhorse Gambison. How about some fucking pants, brah? Yeah, I should sell all the other stuff. Okay, it said uh join Angle on patrol between eleven and nineteen hundred. And I'm overloaded. I'll find a trader and just sell a bunch of shit. There is a tailor. I'll go to the tailor. He has pants. Honestly, I feel like this game is still so early. Like, even after the intro, they made me do another tutorial. Now I'm just like a pleb in a village. I'm just like a guard. I mean, that's fine. I feel like... In the beginning, it's like peaceful and some shit was about to happen, and now it's a bit peaceful, but some shit's about to happen and everything's gonna go to- Uh, ev everything's gonna get fucked as well. Yeah. I think it's just like all a bunch of just like, la li li and then shit hits the fan. All right, I'm almost back. Have pity on me. It was down this way, right? Ultra's made for screenshots. It's not well optimized. Oh. God be with you. What can I do for you? God be with you. Goodbye. Does this mean I have it equipped? It must. All right. Um, now let me get some pants. May the Lord watch over you. May the Lord give me some pants. Some pants. How much is this shit? I have 122. Lady, where the fuck are your pants? Oh shit, fashionable green hose. 168? Okay. What's the cheapest pair? Dude. All right, here we go. This works. That's a gray hose. Me, me lady. Me lady. Let's have a word about the price. Naturally. Milady, your pants are a too expensive. Milady, 30. Satisfies? It'll take more than that to persuade me. Milady, 32. Tough luck. Are you fucking kidding me? You're, are you ki Are you serious? Take care. Are you, are you kidding?
Let's talk about the price. Why not? We're doing this again, huh? Fine. 30. You know what? 32. Aye, that would do it. All right. Get shit on. Owned. Yes, I have pants. I have pants. Yes, I have pants. Can I get rid of the marker? There you go. All right, we got to go to B uh, at 11. All right, I'm going to eat an apple, and then uh, I'm going to just head in here. I could just sit, chill. Set 11 to 9. Okay. Wait, eleven hundred and nineteen hundred. What time is it? Oh, shit. Okay, I'm in nobody. What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Sir Hanush is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that wastrel Sir Hans takes over. That will be a sorry day. Wait, I don't think this is the guy. What the fuck? God be with you. Who am I meeting? Join Nightingale on patrol between 1100 and 1900. Oh, yeah, it was this guy. There I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Uh, so what if I am? So what if I am? There's a story going around about some lad who needed a girl to rescue him. I didn't expect that a... No offence. A coward would want to serve the bailiff. What actually happened? Yo, I don't... I'm not... I don't want to talk I about it. I don't want to talk about it. Suit yourself. So, how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? Um, I want to be useful. I don't want to be kicking around in the dirt while other men do honest work. You're an eager one, aren't you? Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to quickly eat a snack. I brought some snackies for the journey. All right, Nightingale. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lyper, our masters. Damn, he's fucking fast. The grave lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, uh, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. Sigismund and his murderers took everything I had. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? A rat the bailiff house? and his hands live there. And our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. Come and get it. Man and the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. Imagine being the fucking executioner back in the day. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. I don't what? Want you here. I don't know him. Is that your pile not big enough for you? Hey, what's up? 
What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time Good you Good one, Henry. Up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Uh, how is she bothering you? You should let her stay. Drive the beggar away. I think you'd better go. I'd like to know why. I've got a right to be here. No one asked for your opinion. You'll end up in the stocks if you're not careful. Good man, please don't drive me away. Not another word. Clear off. Wait, I know you. You're Henry, the blacksmith's boy from Scalitz. What? Your father would be ashamed of you treating a neighbor like that. Uh, go to the church and beg. Get out of here, insolent cow. Now you've done it. How dare you talk about my father, you bitch. Get lost. Get the hell out of here. Go. I'm, I'm going. I'm going. Be quick about it. Damn. I'll haul you off by the feet with your snout dragging in the mud. Jesus. Didn't you overdo it a bit? Me? You were yelling at her too. Yes, right, right. Anyway, thank you for the help, lad. Yeah, I need this job, guys. I need this Poor job. Girl. But you did the right thing. At least there's peace. See? This guy agrees. Fuck you, chat. I did the right thing. Plus rep. Minus rep. Minus rep. Plus rep. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burgers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Oh. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Come here, mom. Then he retired from it. First to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow. The same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Ah. Uh. Hey, yeah, what was the life expectancy around this time? Like 40? 45? Shit. That's crazy. Thirty to forty, you'd have to be lucky to see sixty. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. Oh, the average dries it down because so many died at childbirth. Every day stepping in fucking mud. Shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. All right, man, where are we going? Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Yeah, which one? I've seen them everywhere, not this time. Oh, wait, holy shit, he blended. What the fuck? God damn, he's a rogue. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone, if Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the Trader's Tavern. The okay. other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Of course. It's all about drinking. That was entertainment. Honestly, drinking is so fucking weird, man. 
it's so overrated. Let's move along to the inner bailey. But it's so ingrained. I'd rather be sober than drunk. Being drunk ain't worth it. It's more annoying. <laughs> I guess a little buzz is fine. Like a sip sip. But like trying to get fucking drunk all the Here's time. The uh, the black okay, buddy. He's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him. Tolerably. That sounds like it's fucking Here annoying. Apprentice too. You lot could help him need it, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. Yeah, it's so different my, here. I mean, my obviously... My died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. I mean, shit, it's not like this guy off shift is gonna whip out his Nintendo Switch. All they had was ill, as the terms of fucking entertainment. This guy's actually like 28. And dice. What? Nothing came out, it was empty. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. Master it's all a bit Smil? complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It would take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Sure, the ale wasn't as potent or as fucking insane as ale is today. So they probably had to drink have to so get much. To eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Motherfucker, you're always hungry. I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah. My stomach. Yeah. I'm hungry. Shit. Alright, let's get moving. Oh, look at this guy's drip. God damn, man. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, oh, would you? No. So it's what better if we do it and we leave the, the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. You know what's interesting? This is random, but the next Call of Duty has been in development for four years. And I think it leaked a little bit that it's going to be more on, like, the Gulf War. What the fuck Is the are you next doing COD here actually going to be, be interesting? Nah. Move your carcass and don't guard the gate! Uh, I... Not a word! Get moving! You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff! Or God forbid, Captain Bernard! Out! That sounds way more interesting than modern COD. Let's have a drink. Really? We just walked around the whole village. Now we're drinking. This is every day. That fool got me all worked up. Really? Damn, you stress easy. Shouldn't we be on patrol? Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? 
You're eager, aren't you? Don't worry, even watchmen are entitled to a break. Except the ones on the gate and the tower, of course. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Okay, god damn it. Why not? Why not, huh? St. George, guide my hand. Ow, how do you do this? Total 2,000. What the fuck even is this? What am I even doing? Oh my god, paragraphs. Okay, so you want some synergy. Am I supposed to hold my shit? Or is it this one? That is a shit ton. Score and pass, score and roll. Score and pass, score and roll again. Owned. And I can stack it further if I get lucky. Bust, there is nothing. Oh, wait, no, I see, I see. Okay, okay. This'll be the one. Lol. 200? Mm. Fucking noob. So you can keep rolling until you bust. This guy's actually getting ridiculously lucky. Yo! We'll see. What the hell? I shouldn't have pushed it. Yeah, you shouldn't have. Yeah, you shouldn't have. So I can do six, six, hold, die. Do you have to hold three? Hold, die, score, and roll. One, one, one is worth a thousand. I can't hold the fives. Score and roll again. It wasn't worth it. Are you kidding me? I busted? I insta-busted? This guy has four fucking ones? Are you kidding? <laughs> Are you serious? Nah, that was scripted loss. See a cutscene. You were supposed to lose. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and... closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate, we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the Rat House. Ring three times, then go to the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Oh shit, thanks man. How do I equip that? Nice. Three. You need a light at night, use your torch by holding one. Oh shit, there it is. Okay, we gotta go ring the bell and then tell the innkeeper to close. Just double check here. Is this where the ring the bell? All right, so now I'm just kind of like a guard in this new in Rate. Rate. It's kind of where I'm at now. Just a guard. Just another guy. You know, I could just settle here. Forget trying to avenge my father. I'm kind of a shitty swordsman. I have no fucking skills. I never paid attention to my dad when he was, you know, blacksmithing and he never taught me how to fight. Um, so I have no... 
really, I have no, nothing to provide. Or no skills, so I guess, I can't read. So I might as well, uh, you know, stick with the guard life, I guess. I lost the sword as well, everything's bad. That was more like two times. Close the trader's tavern by the market square. Is this it now? It's all the way over here. I swear there was another A somewhere. No, I swear I saw another fucking A. Alright, yeah, I gotta do this every night, apparently. This is it. That's what I gotta do. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk. <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> they do find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsure on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the Reverend was sound asleep in the pig sty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. <laughs> it seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> you humor. A toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God <laughs> save them, bacon. <laughs> so, Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> wow, been dude. Run. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. Oh my hour. god. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he He's hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> oh, no. shit. Then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till fart I... Fart in a bathhouse? It really hasn't happened yet. Enough. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Oh no. Oh god. Stopper dealer. We're doing this. On, We're doing on, this. Hey, We're doing this, bro. Just relax. You're drunk. <laughs> You're drunk. You're drunk. You're drunk. Stop. 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 Stop me, Lord! Stop hitting yourself, me Lord! Let him have it, sir. Stop hitting yourself, me Lord! Go on, your grace. Show him what for. Yeah. Shit. Show him your quarters. Wait, what? Oh. Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is happening here? Hell! Answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence! to- Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> You spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. 
I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. <laughs> Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Well, him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Sir, I have responsibilities to the bailiff. Not I anymore. Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. What? It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Okay, technically, job promotion. Let's go. Technically. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. Something tells me they're going to end up becoming friends. Close the trader's tavern by the market square. Done keeping the peace. Maybe I should go home and sleep now. Wait till tomorrow. Because uh, we're at the prey. Meet Lord Capone, Capone at dawn. At dawn. We ride. Yeah, I should probably go to sleep. Hey, yo, where's my fucking bed, Teresa? God damn it. I should talk hey, to her. Hey, lad. Don't you want a little wager on the rat aid tourney? Fuck no, bro. I'm poor as shit. Which bed is mine? Is this my actual bed here? Oh, yeah, this is my bed. Sleep and save at dawn. Beige. Nothing like beige. Hey, yo, what if I I could go to the tournament? Shit. Mmm, that was delicious. Mm. I might get fucking owned though. Oh my god, the dog's up. What up, man? I gotta go, dude. I know I, you're a great dog. I guess I just got shit to do. Okay, get the dead man's ring for Miller. Heshek. Meet Lord Capon. You got some. Oh, yeah, we're back. Alright, where is this fucking lordship? You noble lordship. I'm here, dude. I made it. What up, man? Hunting! Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you'll just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. Can I borrow a horse? But, sir, isn't there a horse I could borrow? Oh, certainly. Why don't you just have mine? Or, then again, you can just run alongside as befits a peasant. Good luck. Yo. I feel quite hungry. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my God. That fucking dog, dude. Jesus. I ain't fucking hungry. All right, man. I was going to. I brought apples to share with the group, but you know what? No, you don't deserve it. Ow. Excuse us. Oh, he's bringing, of course, the hunting dogs. It's only us two? Why don't you get nourishment to 100? Where do you see that? 56. Wait, does food go bad? Does, does this mean it's bad? Rip all that lentil mash. I was looking forward to eating that. As long as it... Oh, yeah. Wait, it's fine. I don't think these are rotten. Oh, cheese is good. 
Oh wait, I'm dying a little bit, but it's okay. Food poisoning. It's all good. All right, me lord. Let's go. Yeah. Hurry up, blacksmith. Yeah, I'm not running. I'm walking. I'm not running with you. I have no arrows. Maybe he'll give me some. Food poisoning was death in these times. Look here, blacksmith. How about that business at the alehouse? Yes, yeah. sir. Anush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. You understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah! I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honor, Panosh is on my back about it and I get punished. Like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. MMO pet POV? I know, right? All right, y'all. I mean, I'm gonna need to borrow like three arrows from that quiver of yours. I'm, b I'm behind the dogs, Sesh. This kind? Yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do Yay. the best I can, sir. All right. I'm going to try. I'll throw my sword at them. I probably should have went and bought some arrows from, like, uh, one of the vendors. Wait, you discovered accident. I don't know if... Um, Wait, what? That is, sir, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The Cumans attacked Scallets and, um... Anyone who didn't flee... That's that was the wagon? Say. I want details. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Well, it's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. Not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. If you wish, sir. And don't dilly-dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. Oh, this is a nice place to camp. Oh, shit. We're going far. I have to walk? Yo, fuck this guy. You should have given me a horse. Oh, whoa. Allenberg Woods. We'll make camp here. I'm surprised they let him venture out this far without a guard. I mean, I'm a guard, but I'm like a noob. This guy's the the lord. This guy's the lord of Rete to be. Oh shit. Yeah, but like, probably have more than me doing this. Bring me wine and bacon from the saddlebag. What? Oh my fucking god. God damn it. I'm gonna eat this shit. I don't know how long that's been there for, but... <clears throat> Nothing like 20 day old chili.
I got it. I got it. What's in here? Oh, shit. Yo. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. Yo, yo. Not stolen. By the way, not stolen. Better hunting arrow. CX. Melee damage. Shard. Bludgeon. Shard is just better right now. Villager ash bow. Wait, seriously? The villager bow is better than Capone's bow? That's so random. How is this random villager shit bow better than Capone's? Am I wrong? No, it says Capone's hunting bow 28. Villager ash bow 36. What am I what am I doing wrong here? Power 37, power 54. What the fuck is this stat then? Stat requirement? Debuff? Min strength, min agility. Oh. That's why. I'm just- Oh, I'm just stat fucked right now is all. Oh. Motherfucker gave it to me like I could actually use it. I- I'm nowhere near able to use it yet. I need way more. Coming up, sir. At long last! At long last! Alright, there you go. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am. Although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Rate for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. Okay. What about your parents? How come Hanush looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, so... Well, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Just so. The king is gone. What do you do with your time? If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored. I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke. At least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? My lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow. And sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. Like a flock of sheep bleating all the time. Even study is more interesting. What are we going to hunt? What are we going to hunt? Jeez. Cumans. Whoa. What? Cumans? I got you there. <laughs> you kind of did. We'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar. One, at least. And a few hares, too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about Scallets. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. He did. I don't want to talk about it. Bro, he ends up TLDRing and having a huge conversation. I feel like this is here for you to say all right, and he... Catches up. I think this is like supposed to catch you up with the plot. I really don't want to talk about it. If I only wanted someone to fetch my game, a dog would do just as well. It's my escort's duty to entertain me, so talk. As you wish. Okay. <laughs> Alright. There's nothing out there. It's a miracle I escaped. Both of my parents were killed in Scalitz. Right in front of my eyes. 
the Cumans slaughtered my friends and neighbours and it was a miracle I got away. I don't know what else I can add. I'm sorry about that. But tell me, I heard in the tavern... What, that Sigismund flew down on a dragon? That the Cumans have horns and hooves? I'm sorry, my lord, but for me, Scalitz isn't a tale of adventure to share over a tankard of ale. All right. I understand. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir. Okay. Wait until dawn. Are there fucking beds here, dude? Oh, he's eating the bacon. Bacon and wine. Got bellyache, have you? That's nasty. All right, yeah, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna take uh, his bunk. Yoink! Wait till dawn. What? We can't sleep till dawn. What the fuck are you, what am I supposed to do here? We gotta wait a little while. I guess I could fast travel and then like sleep. God bless you. What troubles you? Another thing. Take care now. You can just wait, just wait on T. Oh. Now I'm gonna be tired on the hunt. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have slept and then waited the two hours. Whoops. God, my bad. All right, he's still asleep. So now I'm gonna sleep here. <laughs> now I'll sleep an hour. Chat, fuck you, all right? I don't fucking play games to fucking sleep. All right, my bad. I didn't think of the optimal way of doing that. He's still asleep, bro. I'm going back to bed. Okay, there he is. What are you waiting for? Your Lord requires you for the hunt. Yeah, no oh, shit. Really? Such a renowned hunter needs help. You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? Heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant, we'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs wins. Oh, and if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. I already got it. I already got it, bro. You're going down. There's no sport in You're going down. some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell. You're done here. By all means, Sir Hans. Ha! You'll soon be laughing on the other side of your grubby face. And now turn your back for a while. I know a few tried and tested spots in these woods, and I don't want you stealing them. Oh, so you have, he has he has advantage. Hey, yo. We could change history. Just one arrow. No. And he has dogs? Bro, this is rigged. He has two hunting companions? Ugh, that, okay. Alright, you piece of shit. Is this marked or I'm gonna have to do this? I'm gonna have to figure this out, huh? Alright. Whatever, I'll find some hair. Some rabbits. I just gotta be sneaky. Still. He said hey, there's a deer over there, but he specifically mentioned... Bunnies. Look at that shit, boys. God damn. Sheesh. Come on, dude! Alright. There must be more. Man, I love bunnies. It's so sad when you kill them. Ooh, shrooms. Wait! Don't eat it! Oh. Right. 
There's gotta be another bunny somewhere here. Man, imagine being a fucking chicken. You're like the tastiest meat to like everything. Imagine being born a fucking chicken. That sucks. Everybody, you're fucking delicious. A fish? Nah, chicken. Fish, fish got the sea. Oh my god, I, find, I see another one. A chicken? Fuck! And, oh my god! No. That's some bullshit, dude. He's evading. What? Hey, yo, what the fuck is this? Yo. Oh my god, there's another one right there. I need a pro tip. What part of the uh, hand do you... Where's the aimer? There's a specific part where you, that you use to aim with. Nah, that one didn't count. Where is the arrow traveling? Is it above my finger? We did get a skill up, by the way. True. Maybe that gives me, like, more precision. Wait, no? Drinking? Hunting? Oh, no, I don't. I got a plus one, but I don't have a stat thing for it. Depends on timing. Nah, there's more to it. Yo, how long are we hunting for, man? like three days damn I could have gotten three bunnies but I lost every opportunity maybe I should start heading back to the camp above finger gripping the bow all right band if wrong hold on Okay, dude. Bro. Dude, the bunny is winning. I'm getting closer. Dude. This is it. Fuck you. Wait. No. Oh my god. I'm done. I'm done. Nah, man, you suck. Oh god, he's coming back. Bunny, wait. 
Where'd you go? Don't leave. Owned. That's how it is right there, guys. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm supposed to do this for, by the way. Oh, wait, I see him right there. Hey, yo, who won? For heaven's sake, Henry, you're scaring away the hairs. Oh, we're not there yet. <gasps> There's another one. Plus one strength to get the better bow? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. Can I save here? Let me see. Chat, I gotta oh wait, I can't save here. You have no save your snaps. So wait, if I if I save and quit here, it's gonna save here, right? Oh you can? Oh uh, chat, I'm gonna be on, on Friday. I might continue this game. I actually really enjoyed that. That was pretty awesome. That was actually pretty good. At least you can save and quit. It doesn't just like screw you over because you don't have those snaps. It might be worth getting the mod where I can just save without it because it's a little annoying.